I am so sorry. Did you about guys that. see that? This looks like a murder scene, <laughs> I'm Jeff. So sorry. Let's meet today's big beef and stars. Missy Pyle, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look at that. You. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. And her rival, Jeff Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Here he comes. Wait, he hasn't done anything bad yet. Hey, Joel, how are you? Yes. Nice to see you. It's Hello, been a Missy. while. You guys know each other. You're yeah. like friends, right? Yes, I, I mean, we were. At one, were at we? one point. Missy, can you please explain your side of the beef? I went on Jeff Lewis's radio show mm -hmm. thinking that he was going to help me, like, with my kitchen, with my house. I thought I was going That gonna... would make a lot of sense. I never said that, but I also did not deny that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I never clarified that. But what ended up happening was he made fun of my acting repeatedly from a show that I did. I can't in good conscience recommend Walk Right <laughs> Rodeo because you were Just, overacting. Why do I come here? <laughs> She's been on my show many times. We promote whatever project she's been doing at that time. But you know what the fact is, is that this particular movie I didn't think was your best. It kills me that I can't fix this. Are you done? Hey, this chair will either be your wings or it will be your anchor. You decide. People that know me know that I don't bullshit. If you want someone to blow smoke up your ass, go do Andy Cohen's show and he can tell you how great you are. This is why nobody likes you. This is your business. Like, you're not always going to get positive reviews. I mean, by the way, I'm not the only one that gave you a negative review, but you're pissed off at me. I mean, you just seem a little unstable to me. Unstable? Yeah. Your personality is unstable. <laughs> you sought the opinions of well-respected mediators, but unfortunately, they were unavailable. So, you get me. <sighs> There's only one way to settle this disagreement with a television cook-off. It is time to reveal the dish of the day. In keeping with the spirit of your feud, this dish will plunge you both into hot water. Be careful because this cook-off could get saucy, and that's because justice is best served al dente. That's right, these clues should point you toward the dish of the day, bacon cheeseburgers. Oh, wait. Just kidding, it's pasta. Your cheese cutting and grating starts now. Oh my God, this thing is hard to... Oh great, you guys hate each other and I just handed you knives. Perfect. No, you can't <laughs> have my cheese. Don't grab the knife. That's your own cheese. All right, Missy has already started grading. I'm doing great. Jeff is very methodical. This is really nice cheese, by the way. I really need to host more cooking shows. One minute gone. You have one minute. <laughs> These gloves look used, by the way. Uh, the gloves were used earlier in a crime scene. That had to be like five minutes. 30 seconds left, folks. 30 seconds. Missy looks like a mess. Look at her. She's trying to break Jeff's head in here. <laughs> 15 seconds left, guys. You didn't think this was going to be a workout, did you? No. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Step away from the cheese. I shall now measure the cheese. This one. Don't mess with a pile. This is important work. We are just above four inches. Penis joke goes here. <sighs> so she had just over four inches. Four and a half. Jeff, this is under four inches. That's what. All of his boyfriends said. I've only heard stories. <laughs> Jeff should win this because this is the first time he's ever been self-sufficient. What does your uh, live-in chef usually cook for you, Jeff? I honestly just usually order in. All right, Jeff, what are you making? I'm making a uh, pasta with a vodka sauce. Pasta with a vodka sauce. Yeah, like a penne. We'll put Shane over here. I don't know if I should be putting this olive oil in here. I'm gonna put a little more, because why the f not? Definitely cut those onions on the counter. Jeff, uh, I know you don't cook a lot. Well, I was looking for that. I didn't, yeah, that's it was. I know, it was in a pretty hidden place called right next to your I voice. didn't see it, yeah. Well, imagine this is Jeff's head. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put this in my lasagna feels oddly satisfying. I need another 
This is a lot of shenanigans. Lizzie, uh, I see you're talking to yourself. It's a little weird and scares me. <sighs> Are you a helper? Yeah, I'll help oh, a little bit. Oh, that would be great, because I need to put some onions in there. I totally forgot to put some minced onions. Missy, what are you making? Lasagna. OK, this is sausage and beef? It's sausage and beef. It's a Sicilian recipe that was passed down from many, many email chains. It's funny right now, Missy, that Jeff hasn't hurled like nine insults at you. I know he's so he's been terrified. concentrating. He has, he's never cooked before. He doesn't look at him right now. He has no idea what he's doing. I just need a martini glass. What I'm really trying to help Jeff with. Yeah. He's never had a relationship last. And you know what's amazing is Jeff is always giving me relationship advice. Do you talk about I mean, it on the radio show? Yeah, I talk about yes, everything. Yes, he talks, he, go, he talks, he gets very intimate. But mostly we talk about walk, ride, rodeo. <laughs> I was directed to be very dramatic, and you may know me as not a dramatic actor. What was it about her performance? Oh, honestly, all I said is that maybe she should get some acting lessons after that. Is there going to be a sequel, Missy? I don't know why I'm here. I thought I said no. I don't think anyone knows why they're here, especially me. I am so sorry. Did you about guys see that? that? This looks like a murder scene, <laughs> I'm Jeff. I'm so sorry. You know, I thought you were kidding about not cooking, but now I believe you. That was, I, honestly, that was a complete accident. I mean, it did show grip strength. It's embarrassing. Is that in your uh, written down skin directions there? Destroy tomato paste. Can I get some of your filler to put in my. There's no filler, bitch. Oh, no? No, no, okay. It's Botox. Are you gonna ever put these in the oven? What do you think? <laughs> Listen, I do things my own way. I don't need Joel McHale telling me how I'm supposed to cook my lasagna. Wow, she's on the brink. Yeah, was that the kind of performance you gave in Walk, Ride, Rodeo? Actually, it was bigger than that. Jeff and Missy, neither of you claim to be pasta experts, which makes our next game extremely confusing for you. Wait. Get ready to say see you later to your noodle competition in a game we call Pasta Luego. Sorry I said that out loud. I am too. Oh, Missy's panicking. Jeff told me he's drunk. Everything's fine. It's E. I can't play with this Can I Can I please just take them off now so I can put the basil on? You need to do the basil with the gloves. Can't do the basil with the This is how Style gloves. Network went down. They didn't follow the rules. Stick it on there. One minute, guys, until you're both thrown off the show. She's ready. Wait, are you done? I'm done. You're done, but we have 10 seconds left. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time! Welcome back to Celebrity Beef. Here we are. Missy, please tell me, TV's Joel McHale, about your pasta. This is my famous lasagna from the internet. It's got Italian sausage. It's just my knack at cooking. It's interesting how you make it look like a TV dinner. I think. Is that, was that intentional? Wow. Yeah, I knew that you were going to be so bad that I wanted people to look at my preparation and say, let's just give him some points. I'm going to go home and let you guys work this out. Uh, Jeff. Yes. Tell me about your pasta. <laughs> it's a penne pasta. It has garlic. It does look pretty. Thank you. Vodka, cream, um, chili flakes. I'm actually proud of myself because I've never cooked in my entire life. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, the pasta might be a little. Oh, look at that cheese. It looks undercooked. Yum. I'm worried the pasta's undercooked. You had an hour. The pasta is not undercooked. It's not? Mm -mm. Yes. I have not had lasagna in a very long time, and this is very good. This is. What about the garlic bread? Do you want to try the garlic bread? You make garlic bread too? Yes. That's why but there's I'm, pieces of bread there. What about my martini? Don't, don't forget that I made a martini. The cheese melted on top was perfectly cooked. My only thing is that I think there could have been more basil. Yeah. There could have been a few more tomatoes as well. Yeah. I could eat this whole thing. OK, Joel, can you go to mine now? I'm it's, trying, Jeff. It's cold now, but. No, I'm going down to the bottom here. Just keep in mind that I've never cooked in my entire life, ever. Uh, wow. The pasta is perfectly cooked, literally. And that's hard to do with someone who doesn't cook. Mm -hmm. The cream and vodka and tomato sauce, 
is great. I will say, like, you can definitely taste the spice. You can take, you put in chili flakes. With bear claws. Right. Did so you, the problem is you couldn't really measure it as well. Did you measure it at all? Well, I had bear claws on. Did you? Whoa. Oh my, holy. This sauce is your personality. One bite I is want... enough. Can we settle this beef? Because I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight. It seems like you do want to fight. I don't want to fight. I think you can't help it. You knew who I was when you came on my radio show. You know that I'm open and honest, and I'm always going to give you a complete, unfiltered opinion. So when you came on the show to promote, I was honest with you. OK, that's it. I don't want to fight. I actually like you. <laughs> well, that settles that. I like you too, Jeff. I did think that you were going to redo my kitchen. I feel like you didn't do that. Instead, you spent a lot of time making fun of my show, which is fine. It was kind of funny. But then once in a while, it cuts a little too deep. <laughs> you, Jeff Lewis. I'm so attracted to you right Can't. now. Is this ever going to end? <laughs> All right, I have heard enough. The winner of this cook-off and de facto winner of this beef is...